The common name of this species refers to the bright red markings on their heads, but the scientific name tells us something too. In Greek, pseudo means false and phryne means toad. This is actually a good description of these little frogs because they look something like toads and they prefer to walk around on the ground like toads rather than hopping and climbing like other frogs. Red crowned toadlets are very small, only about three centimeters long. This means a single frog could sit comfortably on a 20 cent piece. As well as their distinctive red crowns, these frogs can also have red on their back, as well as surprising black and white marbling on their underside. Red crowned toadlets are found in Sydney, in areas where you can see Sydney Basin Hawkesbury sandstone. Sandstone is really important to this species because they don't need to lay their eggs in water like other frogs. Instead, males make a nest of damp leaf litter tucked into crevices in the rock. During their breeding season, males call to attract females who visit the nest to lay their eggs. More than one female can visit a male's nest site and he will defend the site against rival males. The easiest way to tell if there are red crowned toadlets living nearby is to learn to recognise their calls. Male frogs call to attract female frogs to their nest sites and sometimes to warn off other males. Most frogs call at night and the peak time to hear these frogs calling is midwinter to early spring. Although if the weather conditions are right, you may hear them calling at any time of the year. Because these frogs breed and hide in rock crevices and leaf litter, it is not very likely that you will see them. But please don't disturb their habitat searching for them. And don't forget, you should never touch a frog in the wild. Red crowned toadlets are not found anywhere else in the world. So try listening for their call the next time you're out for an evening stroll and get to know your amazing neighbours. Happy frogging!